All right, get this thing out of here. Oh my god! No. Oh. Hit the button by mistake there. Look at this, guys. It's making some kind of noise. I think it's a, I think it's the uh, rear differential. Looks like. Yeah, doesn't sound very good. The motor mesh is perfect. Oh yeah, motor mesh is perfect. Oh, awesome for a factory. Wow, look at this thing. Look at that awesome servo. Also, another tip also, if you guys are wondering how I got my little pins in so easily, I just snapped them right in. You don't have to hurt your fingers. I get a little drill bit and I drilled out the holes. Not a little bigger, but just kind of finely drill the holes. So these, go, these clips go in there very, very easy. 6S rigs too, I do the same thing. And uh, they yank out pretty easy. Not so bad. Uh, wow, look at that trajectory this thing. It's super, super straight. Right out of the box, it's uh, perfect. 75% throttle, now it's at 100. Lifts up nice. All right. Wow. Runs great, this thing. This thing is awesome. Just the steering alone, guys, from the outcast. This is a whole different animal here. So much more nimble. Handling is, uh, I think it does surpass the XRT. Look at this thing. Like an hour. Look at that. Right out of the box, man. This thing is like, I didn't even mess with the controller or nothing yet. What is up, y'all? Force Highways back in the house. How's it going? Happy New Year. Hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Hopefully this new year brings some of you guys some new toys. If you're interested in the market of some new toys, well, that's my old, uh, that's the Outcast EX, EXP there. The M2C Beefcake. But this video is not about that car. Force got a new, one, a new addition to the family here. Uh, as you guys know, I love Arma. I'm a big Arma fanboy. You probably knew that already. This is the 8S, Creighton 8S EXP. I love the new cover with the red. Red and black is pretty sick sick cover same as a 6s uh exp cover by by the way some new i did some flex glue here so this is like i ran out of shoe glue i'll be using some flex glue. i have to go home and finish this up later today but i did do some flex glue which is uh it's not too bad it looks pretty good if you guys are interested in holding up your body i recommend you do this either you know shoe glue or flex glue and some dry roll tape and you make your body a little bit stronger Hopefully it stays strong. We'll see. Summertime for springtime bashing. This guy here, minor upgrades out of the box. You guys know me. I went to uh, M2C over overkills in the front, the drive shafts and regular M2C drives in the rear. I do have my other ones here. I just took them out. They're brand new. If you guys need drive shafts, let me know. I'll probably send them out to you for like 30 bucks if you need uh, brand new drive shafts. Um, yeah, I know it's, it's expensive. These things they're like $64 for the for the set. They're not cheap, the drive shafts, if you want to upgrade. The aluminum chassis is all stock. I uh, only ran it once in the field for testing. This is like my second run, really, with the car. Uh, no bashing yet. 26-tooth uh, pinion. And, of course, M2C tire right ends. This is just carbon fiber. I wrapped it myself. The bottom one and top one. This one here, I'm going to take out, too, and do it. But uh, heat gun. The M2C tire right ends, only this guy here. This guy, this guy, this guy couldn't take off until you take off the diff case because the yeah, ESC is kind of blocking this uh, the pin from sliding out to the to the to the left. So um, I always got the three millimeter um, screws. This is a must upgrade. Those you guys, this comes with monkey metal. Uh, the two point five millimeters are just garbage. Of course, yours uses two screws. I don't use the one for here. Those you guys who get these cars, you don't need the bottom screw. Okay, you know, just say screw it. You don't really need it. I'm an 8S professional basher from Arma, 8S pro expert. I guess I'm an expert in these cars. But um, I'll tell you what, though, I never use that stupid third screw. It's just a pain in the ass sometimes to take it out. You don't really need it. As long as you have the two ones up here with some blue Loctite, you guys are okay. So if you're having second thoughts, I'm telling you, don't use it. Just You can just save it for the top when you strip your... When you strip these two here, if you guys are going to use your regular ones, you're going to strip one eventually have it for a backup you know when you buy the car just take it out and save it because you don't really need it for, for the bottom now and the batteries gen zace 6800 120 discharge these are the best batteries like my buddy there from uh, midwest rc what's up buddy he was uh he's right about these batteries look at these eight gauge wires guys 
there is no other battery to make eight gauge wires maybe um, uh, not even smc does eight gauge these fit these give this the esc the perfect amount of electricity to run properly and get the full potential of your car as far as ESCs. 27 tooth pinion and the uh, stock spur gear of course wow this thing does nice wheelies you guys have good batteries look at the trajectory of this thing guys too not even doing anything and just look at that thing avc is on from the factory this thing just goes straight as an arrow man and the uh avc is on i didn't touch any of these buttons over here so the brake rate maybe i'll fix that a little bit but um steering trim is perfect throttle trim uh out of the box man i gotta give it an armor man this thing just stays straight with no problems whatsoever uh diff fluids are all stock uh i like the way it, i kind of like the way it is out of the box I mean, you know, I don't do any upgrades until I really I know what the problem is. And the drive shafts for this thing is one thing. That's why I just kind of took them out. I know they bend, no matter, kind of no matter what. <laughs> but this 27 tooth pinion. So you guys know me, I'm a basher. So, I mean, this is a perfect speed here. Look at this speed right here. I mean, that is a perfect speed for bashing right here. She's probably going like 55 around that. 54, 55 miles an hour. Definitely not 60, but look at this thing. Hold up the wheelie, look at that. This thing is just incredible, man. Incredible, incredible car. It moves, man. You, uh, 27, the 46, 46 spur, like that fella Midwestern RC, he's right, the 39 tooth uh, spur gear, I had problems also with cogging. Look at this thing, it just stays up. The reason why it cocks for it because the ESC is pulling too much amperage from your batteries. But if you have the Gen A, it's like I have these batteries from my uh, Outcast. Look at this thing. I had SMCs on my Outcast last year and it stopped cogging, but it still does though. It pulls a lot of batteries. You got a 39 with a big tooth pinion, 30, 39. It does, you know, it's, you, gotta go, you gotta go easy into it or you're gonna cog and you're gonna lose power at some point. It's gonna do a power cut depending on your batteries. This thing is just a beast for this thing. Man. And the power from this car to the Outcast, I'll tell you one thing. The Creighton 8S is a lot more planted, guys. You guys want a nice planted car? You think about getting an X XRT? You know, think again. I recommend. Look at this thing. Look at that nice, look at that turn it does. Look at this. I mean, come on. XRT, this thing will leave it in the dust. Now, the XRT, uh, was it easier to drive maybe a little bit you can also tell this car's a lot more heavier it means business you know you can tell it's more it's heavier you can get a feel for it right away this car that is heavier xrt is a little bit more playful maybe the fun factor is a little bit higher in the xrt you know i'll be honest i had the xrt i don't like it but this car look at this thing just takes off look at this thing like a bat out of hell look at that thing boom Force got some good uh good power here with this with these batteries, man. I'll tell you what. Look at this thing. Complete animal, man. What an animal this is. What an animal. Woo! Get, oh! Oh! The first hit. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, two wheels. I mean, this thing is just incredible. What a what an awesome car! Woo! You are very sharp, and when I turned the differential, it was grinding and making no kind. You know what I'm saying? It was make it was very grindy and not very smooth. So, unfortunately, both of these ring gears took a hit. The bottom one is bitten like two two of these teeth here, and the, if you can tell here, it's right over here. These GoPros don't want to zoom, but there's two of these teeth that are very worn down. If you can see in the video, probably can't see much, but when you have problems with the, uh, that clicking noise in those, um, the Outcast ADAS or the Creighton ADAS, you know right away it's your top ring gear or your bottom ring gear. Usually it's the top ring gear. The bottom ones, this one is the original one for a while. This one took a big beating 
and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put also today uh, 300k when I get these parts to rebuild the diff yeah you guys saw that little video there with the uh, diff cup I'm happy you saw it thank you for watching up to this point very very nice thank you for joining me on this uh, another episode of forest hobbies and if you guys are interested also in the um the diff gears so when you guys maintenance your diff get extra right here so maintenance your diff on the 8s just these guys over here so it's ara 310 91 uh not nine i'm sorry not 916 it's 810 914 810 uh, ara 310 914 just these guys right here it's just the sun gears and the, and the uh, top sun, uh, the sun gears and those spiral gears that's it so that's all you really need which is the zodiagram right there you don't need these guys these are separate for like 13 or 14 dollars you don't need them extra shims are all different depending on what you need but mostly you need is the sun gears and the planetary gear right here that's the top ones those guys went bad that's 23 dollars with the plus shipping from like a man or horizon i Hobby. never said that the crane 8s is like the best 8s basher or rc car out there for 8s you know i was comparing it to the xrt my bad well my bad experience xrt uh, if you ask me it's complete trash you have to put money into that car to make it better especially with the the gear match and all those monkey metal now the x max on the hand the x max is a whole different beast i do love that car i play with the x max multiple times and i tell you those cars are really really fun but uh you know th it's different though too they're super reliable this is durable x max is probably a little bit more durable just because it has a plastic chassis check out thunder's rc channel he loves the x max he has uh he has minimal upgrades with that car and that car is a complete beast off that death ramp all right thunder little shout out to you and hey the x max man looks good uh you know force watches most of his videos when i can he pumps out a lot of content so you guys hopefully you know thunder rc you know force hobbies you know speed psycho and addicted rc all of us here you know <clears throat> so here's my um the differential for the 8s check this out i got this whole thing apart like you like you saw the little footage here that little sun gear the planetary gears got all messed up so I'm cleaning out the rest of the gears here. I'm going to have an extra diff case. This is the extra one I have here that's good. To put some uh, brake cleaner in here. Always have a nice tin with you handy. This is just a little cookie tin. Don't throw away those tins or don't recycle them. If you're into the RC stuff, you can use those tins for cleaning out all your diff crap. Your diff fluid, you know, your little parts in there, the planetary gears and all that stuff, the pins. You know, get all that diff fluid out of there and put them in there. Very, very good, you know. Yep, so that's uh, pretty much it here. I'm also fixing my son's Mototech Drifter. You guys know about these things? They're made in China and they always break. Big thing with these things, the Mototechs. This is actually given to him by somebody up the street on my, on my neighborhood. I think that I just changed the cord. I bought a new one. Now the, bat, now the uh, fuse in here went. I gotta change out this fuse over here. So I gotta work on this. See, when I'm off from work, I still got a lot of projects to do at home. So it ain't like I'm off from, uh, you know, I'm off, off. If you get what I mean, but my my experience with the Creighton 8S, I do love that car. I think it's a fantastic uh, 8S rig. Um, you know, am I gonna be bashing it like the Outcast? Probably not. You know, because uh, I don't. This is my more basher. I spent a lot of money on this car to fix it with the uh, M2C chassis. That car's gonna remain pretty much all stock the way you see it. I'll bend the chassis back. I have a vice. I like bending chassis back. It's kind of fun if I do, you know, break them. But alright, guys, thanks all for watching. And uh, any questions you have with the uh, Creighton ADS and batteries, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys use. You know, how you blow your loads. I would like to, <laughs> I would like to know. <laughs> this is uh, the day after I, I bash. I'm in my pajamas here. But yeah, let me know how I did with the video. And uh, if you guys get clicking noises with your Outcast um, or the Creighton, it's probably a similar problem as you guys have, you know, no big deal. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Like and sub and live free or die and don't forget to hand me a like hand me a like that's my daughter i gotta get going what is it babe i didn't order at school yesterday and i forgot to show you let me see it babe wow look at see oh wow look at this happy new year i put this in my video saya very cute babe very nice drawing very nice maybe I have a Oh, good job, babe. Thanks, Saya. That's so lovely, babe. Maybe we'll have a... Trust this 
Maybe we'll have a Force Hobbies uh, art contest on my channel soon since it's just a hobbies. 